When it comes to falsetto, no one comes close to the super Philip. For someone who's a natural baritone to hit frightening ranges in the falsetto, you have to give it to him. For those who have given singing a shot, you'll agree that it takes a lot of practice and guts to hit those extremely, extremely high notes. How this gentleman has managed to do it day in day out for the last five decades, amazes many. With him also a talented composer, lyricist, and percussionist, the multiple Grammy Award winner's gift is evident enough for him to be a worthy mention among the greatest of the greatest. Away from that, his journey has not been as easy as people tend to think. Philip James Bailey was born on May 8, 1951 in Denver, Colorado, to Edward Alvena Bailey and Elizabeth Crossland. Right from birth, his love for music was evident. In the words of his mum, Philip was singing even before he began to talk. Music was his first language. He attended Denver's East High School, before attending the Metropolitan State University of Denver, and later the University of Colorado. While at East High School, as early as fourth grade, he began honing his musical chops, doubling up as a drummer and singer. Back at home, while the kids his age were outside playing, he would frequently visit a friend whose stepdad was a jazz bassist, going through his record collection, checking out the likes of Art Blake, Philly Joe Jones, Miles Davis, John Coltrane, from whom he drew great inspiration. On top of this, growing up, his great appetite for music would push him to love and appreciate all kinds of music. From country, to top 10 radio, to folk music and to jazz, he loved all of them. He greatly attributes his success to the music department in East High School whose depth of music education was fabulous and phenomenal. His passion drove him to sing in various groups including the Echoes of Youth, a choir which had the likes of the talented actor Pam Grier, and Mystic Moods, a group he had formed with other friends, which would often participate in a competition dubbed, Battle of the Quartets. He would later form Friends and Love, a band which was briefly called The Electric Black, with schoolmates Carl Carwell, Winston Ford, and duo Larry Dunn and Andrew Woolfolk, with whom would join Earth Wind and Fire years later. As young musicians, they cut their teeth on doing gigs at clubs, functions, and colleges, which they viewed to be a proving ground for the upcoming. The group, through persistence and hard work, became a regular act at the Denver venue's 23rd Street East and Shapes. Him growing up around females, his mum and sister Beverly, greatly influenced his choice in voice, mimicking the likes of Sarah Vaughan, Nancy Wilson and Dion Warwick. In 1971, his group, Earth Wind and Fire, who had just released their first album, came to Denver, and Bailey's group, Friends and Love, opened the show, playing a promotional gig at the Hilton. Maurice White noticed the unique voice of Philip Bailey and the following year, in 1972, he invited Bailey to Los Angeles to join the band as a lead vocalist. He brought a certain pop sensibility to the band. Earth Wind and Fire had originally recorded as a brassy, jazz-like assemblage. But founder Maurice White saw it fit to rework the concept, fusing different elements of music together and wanted it to be philosophically positive. Bailey recommended Larry Dunn and then Andrew Woolfolk, who had been busy in New York studying sax with jazz maestro Joe Henderson, and was on the verge of taking up a career in banking. The group began presenting exuberant dance music that had life-affirming, often metaphysical lyrics wrapped around exciting rhythms. Bailey's distinctive falsetto, pure and sweet, became as legendary as Barry White's basso. Soon afterwards he solely sang lead vocals with his falsetto on the following songs. Devotion, released in 1974. Keep Your Head to the Sky, in 1973. Reasons, in 1974. Fantasy, in 1978. Star, in 1979. I've Had Enough, in 1982. Turn On, The Beatbox, in 1978. When Love Goes Wrong, released in 1997. Guiding Lights in 2012. My Promise, in 2013. Bailey also shared lead vocals with White on the following tunes. Can't Hide Love, in 1973. Shining Star, in January 1975. That's the Way of the World in June 1975. Sing a Song, in November 1975. Getaway, in 1976. Saturday Night, in 1976. Serpentine Fire, in 1977. September, in 1978. And Boogie Wonderland with the Emotions, in 1979. The impact of the group had been such that some critics even dubbed the group the Black Beatles, a reflection of the power of the music the group had made. 
Bailey would then decide to pursue a solo career in 1982, where according to him, it gave him the opportunity to work far beyond what was expected of him within the group, and use the full range of his instrument without any reservation whatsoever. Bailey made his solo debut on Columbia Records in 1983 with the album Continuation. The album peaked at number 19 on the Billboard Top R&B Albums list in the United States, and remained there for 30 weeks. It was also a worldwide success, peaking at number 31 on the Swedish Pop Albums chart and number 36 on the Dutch Pop Albums chart. The album's two singles, I Know and Trapped, charted at number 10 and 43 on the Billboard R&B chart respectively. In 1985, Bailey's single Easy Lover, a collaboration with Phil Collins from the Columbia label's album Chinese, hit number one on the UK pop singles chart and number two on the Billboard Hot 100, and remained there for 23 weeks. The album sold over 500,000 copies and peaked at number 10 on the Billboard Top R&B Albums list, and number 22 on the Billboard 200 chart. In 1985, Bailey was nominated for a Grammy Award for Best R&B Vocal Performance. Bailey's subsequent albums were gospel. He published The Wonders of His Love in 1985, which peaked at number 13 on the Billboard Gospel list and stayed there for 45 weeks. Inside Out, his 1986 gospel album, debuted at number 30 on the Billboard R&B Albums chart and remained there for 15 weeks. It was also his second international hit, charting at number 29 in Switzerland and number 30 in Sweden. Bailey won a Grammy in 1987 for Best Gospel Performance for his album Triumph, which peaked at number 18 on the gospel chart and stayed there for 29 weeks. His most recent gospel album, Family Affair, was published on Mer Records in 1989, and peaked at number 37 on the Billboard Top Gospel Albums chart. Even though he was doing solo projects, during this entire period, he remained affiliated with the group, and would take over as the group's on-stage leader, following Maurice White's retirement in 1994. In addition to his self-titled studio album Philip Bailey on Zoo Entertainment in 1994, he also released the jazz album's Dreams in 1999, and Soul on Jazz in 2002. The albums peaked at 43 and 45 on the Billboard Jazz Albums chart respectively. Away from that, Bailey has also appeared in other media. He appeared in a 1995 Chicago staging of Raisin, the Broadway musical based on a raisin in the sun. On October 27, 2007, Bailey sang God Bless America during the seventh-inning stretch in Game 3 of the 2007 World Series, held at Coas Field in Denver, Colorado. This was the first World Series game that was ever played in his hometown of Denver. He also threw out the ceremonial first pitch on June 30, 2012, in an MLB game between the Tampa Bay Rays and the Detroit Tigers held at Tropicana Field, St. Petersburg in Florida. On to personal life. Bailey has been married three times, to Janet Bailey, Valerie Bailey, and Crystal Johnson Bailey. He is the father of seven children. One of his children, Peely Bailey, is the daughter of Jeanette Hutchinson of the R&B hit group The Emotions. His son, Philip Doran Bailey is also a member of Earth Wind & Fire. To sum it up, as of now, he still shares the stage with longtime band members, bassist Verdine White and percussionist Ralph Johnson. With his four-octave vocal range, Bailey foremostly sings in his falsetto, and sometimes alike the tenor of Maurice White, whilst illustrating his vocal versatility. His influence in music will never be forgotten. What fond memories do you have of him?